All right, ladies and gentlemen, I won't lie to you. I'm a little bit shook right now. Do you know how shooketh I am? I am shooketh beyond all shookethness. I talked before on this channel probably that, you know, ChatGPT can be a thing on your phone. You can use it on the go. What if I told you that Bing was just like, I'm just gonna implement it into my keyboard. I don't care if you have an iPhone. I don't care if you have an Android. I'm gonna show you how to use Bing AI on your keyboard, on your phone. So first of all, we can go to the website, Microsoft Swift Key. You can see you can get it on the App Store with the Apple App Store, or you can get it on Google Play. So Android, you, you, you're getting this too, but I, I, I'm gonna show you the uh, amazingness of Microsoft Swift Key on iPhone. So first you can just go to the App Store. You can see I already got Microsoft Swift Key keyboard. And obviously you can get Bing, so chat with AI and GPT-4 on your phone, but we're just gonna show you this keyboard right here. So then when you go into SwiftKey and you sign into your Bing account, what you're going to be able to do is go to settings, and then you're gonna look for your keyboard settings. So those are gonna be in ge under general, and then go to keyboard, and then click on keyboards. Now you can add a new keyboard, right here and you'll see that there's a third party option. So we can press Swift key there. So now that we have Swift key, we have the option to just have Swift key, have Swift key emoji and like the basic English US one that you have built into your iOS device. I will say if you're using just Swift key, it does look a lot better than if you have the other one. So I'm gonna remove these two by going here and deleting these. So you can just press edit and then delete those. And then now you'll see I have a different keyboard. So if I go to messages, I'm just gonna text my, myself because I'm like that. You'll see that it says allow fold access to get word predictions. Okay, let's press the I button. Go to take me there. And make sure when you go to Swift keyboard that you allow full access, press allow. Now, this is where the fun happens. You'll see that obviously it looks like your basic keyboard. You can switch between the emoji keyboard and everything like that. But when you press Bing here, and once you're done going into the Swift key account section and logging in to your account, so you can see I can log out, then go back in, just sign in with Microsoft, continue like this, successfully sign me in, obviously put in your credentials. Now here the magic happens. Obviously you have your clipboard here, which is really cool. You have a GIF area, which is awesome actually. It's got trending GIFs, which is hilarious. I mean, Steph Curry, the G, you can just press, uh, as you can see here, after I press GIF, now it's gonna be pasteable and then yeah, cool, you have the emoji search. That's awesome. But if I press this, I can Google something. So let's Google, or not, or I can search something. So I can look up Bing AI, press search. I can search for stuff within here and then copy and then either go to it or press share and then it'll put it into my text, which is so convenient. But last but not least, I can press the Bing icon, go to tone, and then I could, for example, put tell Dimitri happy birthday, and then it'll give me different options. <laughs> With ChatGPT, look, it's just me like, all right, please convey my best wishes to Dimitri on his birthday. Casual, don't forget to wish Dimitri happy birthday. Would you kindly pass him my warmest regards? Oh my God, yes, this is hilarious. So I press accept and it goes here, or I can press copy and then send it. And then last but not least, if you have the ChatGPT app on your phone, you can press chat and it'll bring you to Bing AI here to, to mess around with it here. So honestly, this is crazy convenient. And I've been such a Google fanboy from their product suite for such a long time that me recommending you to install Microsoft keyboard on your iPhone is hilarious, but it's got integrated GPT-4 on it's on your keyboard when you're texting. I mean, are you kidding me? If you don't get this or at least try it out, I'm shook. I'm shook at your decision, but I respect it. And I respect the fact that you're gonna check out this video on how to improve your productivity.